Everyone knows Banjo-Kazooie. It's one of the best 3D platformers of all time. It's got great music, characters, worlds, and collectibles as far as the eye can see. But just how lenient are the requirements to beat this game? Can you beat it while completely ignoring one of its collectibles in its entirety? Can you beat Banjo-Kazooie without collecting any coins? The rules for this challenge are simple. Complete the game by any means necessary without collecting any coins. Jiggies, notes, jinjos, eggs, feathers, mobo tokens, every other collectible is allowed. If necessary, glitches are allowed. That being said, let's jump right into it. After Tootie gets kidnapped by Gruntilda, we make our way up Spiral Mountain and enter the first level, Mumbo's Mountain. And we are faced with our first challenge of this run. Immediately, coins are blocking our path. At first, I thought this run was going to be over before it even really started. But with some well-timed jumps, we're able to actually bypass the coins and collect all the notes and jiggies. First level down. Moving on to Treasure Trove Cove, and this one was surprisingly easy. We just avoid all the coins in the area, got every last note and jig- Every last- Every la if this freaking shark would collect every last jiggy in the level. Next we have Bubble Goose Swamp. I I hate this level. I listen. I I know we're doing a. I'm making a video. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about Bubble Goose Swamp. Okay. I'm. It's just you're not. I don't care. The I. I, it's it's a principal thing. I'm not gonna. You can't make me talk about bubblegum swamp. I'm not gonna. Fu Next we have Clanker's Cavern, which was actually the easiest level for this challenge because there's not a single coin in this level. I'm not even exaggerating. I looked everywhere. If you go play Banjo Kazooie on Clanker's Cavern, there are no coins at all. Just notes, jiggies, eggs, feathers, and mumbo tokens. I'm not sure if they were just forgotten for this level or maybe the creators of this video. <clears throat> game uh, just got lazy and didn't want to put coins in this section. <laughs> Either way, that's another level down. Making our way to Gobi's Valley, it took me a while to remember how to collect everything in this world, uh, but once I remembered, it was pretty smooth sailing. And we got every jiggy, every note, even picked up a few coins along the way too. Now, Freeze Easy Peak was all like, uh and there wasn't any coins i don't think i don't remember but the same can't be said about mad monster mansion the next level in our challenge immediately upon spawning in there's a coin in our path that is completely unavoidable i tried glitching through the walls jumping over it you name it Jesus, if you can hear me, please get rid of that coin. What the fuck? But there was nothing I could do. The coin is collected every time. So, as much as it pains me to say it, you cannot beat Banjo Kazooie without collecting any coins. But even though we technically failed the challenge, let's continue on just to see how much we can beat without collecting any coins. So the rest of Mad Monster Mansion was totally fine. Uh, you know, it was just that one coin that was giving us the trouble. The rest of it, perfectly fine. Uh, next, we jump right into Rusty Bucket Bay was a standard level, all things considering. Uh, we avoid coins like we're used to and are able to collect every note and almost every jiggy. I say almost because in order to get the last jiggy we need, we would have to raise the anchor and save the trapped Snorkel the Dolphin. So unfortunately, we can only get 9 out of 10 jiggies here, but that's not bad at all. We can continue. Uh, now, if you're a Banjo-Kazooie veteran, you'd know that normally there are no coins in Click Clock Wood. Unless you're in the winter version. So we just had to be careful on the final leg of this challenge, but other than that, it was fine. Then after a quick BLJ to skip the quiz show, we're off to the top of the tower. And since there were no coins in the boss fight, we just have to kill Gruntilda. An <laughs> easy... We just have to kill Gruntilda. Easy peasy. I'm going to kill you. And then kill you again. 
hand with that, we have successfully beaten Banjo-Kazooie without collecting any coins at all. Honestly, I'm just as surprised as you are. I really didn't think this challenge would be possible. But here we are. Happy to say, challenge completed successfully. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then you're probably the same flavor of weird as I am. Uh, so maybe subscribe for more brain rot. Uh, also, uh, just ad-lib the outro. Wait, what is that?